So I had a lot of fun in Sapporo where I started in Japan. Experienced the snow and the views, not only of Sapporo, but also of Ataru. But I had to continue my journey of traveling throughout Japan. Next stop, Hakodate, a city in Hokkaido as well. This was a good room. Incredibly good room. Fortunately, I'm gone. Bye bye. Ah, oh, what a great room this was. Right, I just got my luggage. Just checked out, got my luggage stored in the front desk. I need a new, um, I don't know if you see that, but the dead cat on top of the mic is missing and I lost it. So I'm trying to get to this Sony store to see if I can get a replacement, hopefully. So I went to a nearby mall on the other side of Adori Park where the official Sony store was in Sapporo. I had to ask a guy where it was because I couldn't find it and at first it hadn't opened yet, but in a few minutes later it did. And I asked them if they had a wind muff for my mic because if I couldn't find one, I was pretty much screwed for the next few days as no way in hell did a small town like Hakodate have a similar store like this there. Unfortunately, they were out of stock, but they told me a store called Yodobashi Camera stocked it, so I kept that in mind and just headed back to the hotel to get my luggage and asked them to call me a taxi to get to the station. Sapporo Station, oh my god. Yeah. I already purchased my Shinkansen ticket the day before, which I highly recommend because the major stations in Japan can get really hectic during the day. There's people going from all kinds of directions. Luckily for a foreigner like me, it's very easy to navigate because the electronic boards, signs and announcements include English as well. Think of the stations in Japan as an airport. Just find your train number and time, then it tells you which track to get on. On the tracks, it can get a little bit more confusing, especially for a first timer like myself because it gets pretty hectic and there are multiple different doors and you have to find your door quickly too since if you see right here, oh man. If you're late, you're gonna be waiting a while. But we finally got on, put our suitcase in the luggage compartment, found our reserve seat and then headed off. One thing I will say, nobody would ever do this but I was scared someone would accidentally take my suitcase off prior to my stop so I always had an eye on the find my app on my phone. <laughs> But anyway, if you guys are new here, welcome. Please make sure to check out my previous videos for context on this one, as I didn't really record too much on this day. This video is mainly just one that shows my journey from Sapporo to Hakodate. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps tremendously, as the only reason these videos are made possible is because I quit my job and used almost all the money in my bank account to create content that would hopefully make me a living, so yeah. But eventually, after long four hours where my butt literally ached, I swear, I don't, I don't even know if I took the Shinkansen or not. Maybe it was the Express or like a different train, but the train I was in was definitely more ancient and less comfy than the future bullet trains that I took. But oh man, I was getting ready to explore this city. New city, new adventures, and different vibes. Unfortunately, this day my cough was getting worse and I just felt kind of burnt out in general. And you can tell by how little I actually recorded myself. I just kept the action cam on my shoulder majorly because it was the most convenient option. Oh. I love open areas like this one. Damn bro. Nice. <coughs> Too bad I had a really bad cough. Oh. I think I'm just gonna walk there. 20 30 minutes walk. Oh man. I did not feel very good. Still wanna walk it because save money. And that was a good idea. Although I have will have to say, like, even though it was cool to walk around the city at first, man. It was a hassle dragging my suitcase across, especially the tram lines. But eventually, we got to our hotel. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's that one right there. 
Now, this was one of the cities I decided on saving some money and cutting back. Three nights costed me, I think, around $200, or maybe a bit less. At first, despite there being a front door, it wasn't working, so I had to find a different way. And guys, get ready for this bang of a room. <laughs> so this hotel, despite not being too bad, was definitely the worst I stayed in during this trip. Or this journey, this whole entire 50 day journey or something. It's funny coming from a suite all the way in Seoul to a small ass room that smelled like smoke. Because all the rooms were smoking rooms, I think. In Japan, that's a thing. Most hotels though, let you choose if you want a smoking or a non-smoking room. But after doing the usual things for check-in, I then was able to finally head to my room. Oh. Please, get me to the room, please. Hurry up, dude. Alright, we are on the fifth floor. Um, it's in the middle again. <coughs> I honestly don't mind. I could have asked for a high floor, but who cares? I, I don't care. I'm only here for like. Oh man. Oh. I'm only here for like, uh. Three nights, so. Yeah, here we go. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, man. oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, man. Ah. <coughs> oh. So tired, so... Oh, it's a smoking room. I can smell the smoke, but it's actually not that bad. I feel like shit. I feel like death. Welcome to my hotel room. It's not much. <clears throat> the view's not much either, but... It's good enough. Oh, I feel very... Sick. <coughs> well, I sound more sick than I actually am, if I'm to be honest with you. Uh... I have a cough. It feels like the cough that I've had before, where you just keep coughing up shit. Hopefully it'll go away in a couple of days. Um, these things always do. Oh. But yeah, I just, uh, tonight we're gonna spend the night in. <coughs> I have some snacks that I bought from the supermarket that I didn't eat. I'll just eat that for tonight. And then tomorrow, hopefully we have the energy to do some stuff. There's only really two things I want to do here at Hakodate. Mount Hakodate, the roadway up to the tallest mountain. And uh, the Gori Kaku. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but there's a fortress. So as long as I see those two things, I will be happy. We have two more days, technically. Well, today, right, was one day, and then tomorrow, and then the next day. Tomorrow, and the next day, I'll just do one thing, those things, and then maybe eat somewhere, and then we'll see. Ah. Then I took a nice steamy hot shower. Oh. You know what they do like about this place? even though it's very tight and squishy, is the fact that they give you... <clears throat> it's the fact that they give you a dress or like, you know, pajamas. And they f actually fit me really good. They actually fit. Holy. That concludes today. I'm done. <coughs> I need to relax, you know. Um, eat some of the stuff, like the onigiri and the cheese none that I save still that will be my dinner <coughs> I'm in no form shape to go out right now um, so yeah I'm gonna rest up tomorrow and the next day will only be half days but that's fine that's all I need honestly yeah catch you in the next video then I just slept really early and that was this day probably the worst day of this journey 
My throat was getting a bit worse, so I was fearful if it developed into something way worse. So think of this episode as kind of like a filler episode, if you will, <laughs> before we explore some of the great sights of Hakodate for the next two days. <laughs> 